Cole Morgan Training presents Grounding, Shielding, and Bonding Differential Inputs. Some applications require the use of an analog signal for reference information or for a torque, velocity, or position command. The problem with an analog signal is it's, it is very susceptible to electrical noise as opposed to its digital counterpart. But there's a couple of steps we can take to reduce the effects of noise in our system. The first is to use what we call a shielded twisted pair cable, making sure that the shield is tied to ground at both ends. The second is to use a differential input. And if we compare a single linear input to our differential input, we see that we have, because of 180 degree phase shift, two times the full scale voltage level, or twice the dy dynamic range. This becomes very important in the signal to noise rejection ratio. Also, it becomes important when we start talking about DC and AC common mode rejection. For those of you who like equations, the signal to noise ratio is equal to the 20 log of the dynamic range over the minimum level. And this will be in dB. After all, at the end of the day, we want your machine to do what you tell it to do, not what the noise tells it to do.